my channel and we're all about love, positivity, being a girl boss, and everything in that vicinity. In today's video, we're doing another Sunday story time. Y'all know I love my story times. Y'all know y'all love my story times. In today's story time, we're going to be talking about the time that I got my boyfriend suspended. If you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe to the notification bell. If you're not new to the channel, then welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving me as much as I love you. Let's not waste no time and get right into this video. So, this is going to be a pretty short story time. Basically, this was happened, obviously, since it was suspended from school. This was when I was in school, and it's actually not even high school. This was like middle school, my eighth grade year. And I was dating this white guy. Y'all know the white guy from the stories I've told about him before. And I happened to be very child, so I used to pick with him a whole lot. So, one particular day, he was laying asleep on a locker. Now, I came in, and I remember saying something to him, and then I left. But when I came back, he was literally asleep, standing up with his book bag on his locker. And I was like, yo, what are you doing? Like, what is happening right now? And I kept saying, I said, yo, babe, yo, babe. I kept trying to get his attention, and he wasn't listening to me. And like I said, I was childish. So I was like, yo, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to knock him over. So, I grabbed his book bag and leaned him to the the right and he immediately I mean like I thought he would wake up before he hit the ground but he did not he didn't wake up until his face planted into the cement floor I was like like <laughs> it was kind of funny but nobody saw me do this that's what made it so crazy like nobody saw me do it except for one of my like one friend of mine saw me do this because she saw me walk up to him or it might have been my other friend my guy friend. I don't remember. I had a friend with me and they saw me do it, but nobody else saw what happened. So when he he literally hopped up, pissed. Hopped up like, who the f did that? Da, 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 da. And I, <laughs> my stupid self stood there frozen. Like I was like, because he looked so mad. And I wasn't expecting, like when y'all, when I say his face hit the ground, I mean, boom, face hit the ground, like hard as you heard it. And it was his face. Like, so, I was like, I'm sitting there looking like, yikes, and he's yelling, he's like, who did it, who did it, who did it, and nobody's answering, but then there's this one particular guy who I guess thought it was funny, so he was cracking up laughing over there in the corner, watching him, and laughing, nobody else was laughing, because most people knew him well enough to know that if he's mad, you might not want to, you might not want to go there, but he's like, do you think that's funny, do you think that's funny, blah, 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 so he started getting in old dude's face, and I'm like, and then my friend's like, yo, you better tell him that was you. You better tell him that was you. And my stupid self, I'm just like, I did not react. I was staring. Because two things were happening. One, I was scared. Because I was like, look how he yelling at him. I don't want to be yelled at like that. And I, in the back of my mind, I knew he wouldn't have reacted that way if I had told him it was me. But it was just like, I had never seen him at that point that upset. So I was just like... Oh my god. But then there was a second part of me that was like, he looks mighty attractive right about now. I'm not even gonna front with you. Like, he was looking like, I'm not gonna, y'all, I am attracted to crazy people and psychopaths. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm attracted to a-holes and psychopaths. I know this about myself, but, now mind you, I am attracted to crazy people and psychopaths, but I am attracted to good people, good crazy people. Like, people that are crazy, but people that have good hearts. Like, people who don't just hurt people, or people who don't just do horrible things to people. But just people that, when they do get upset, it's like... And they don't play about me. Like, they, they you know, they lose their little issues about me. You know, I just I just like that, you know? He was in dude's face, bro. Like, dude laughing. He's like, what's funny? What's funny? Da, 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 da. And the dude's just like, yo, chill. He's like, nah, nigga, you want to you wanna laugh? Laugh. Keep, tell me what's funny. He's like, are you the person who knocked me out? Because he was convinced because the dude was the only person laughing that he was the person that knocked him over. But I think also he was half asleep and he was tired and upset. So he was like, you you think something is funny? You think something is funny? Blah, 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 blah. So then the security guard comes. <laughs> I caused so much mess. The security card comes. He's this big dude. He's like, yo, calm down. He starts grabbing him. Yo, he was not having it. When the student security guard touched him, he was like, get off me. Like, push the security guard like three feet back. I was like, oh. Like, we was in eighth grade. Who pushes security guards back? Like, I was like, I was literally just like, oh, oh my God. And he was like, he said, no. Da -da -da -da. He said, whoever did that finna get they butt whoop, finna get they A whoop, da 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 da. Like, he's going off and the security guard, like, who you talking to? Who you talking to? And he's like, I'm talking to you. Like, I, I was like, he was like in his face. He was like, I'm talking to you. Da 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 da. Like, he, like, he was white, but he was very 
he he ain't know no white people so like that's all i'm gonna say like he was white but he didn't know any white people so like honest to god this is just his behavior he was born and raised in the neighborhood with all the people at that school so like i i i, I had nothing to say he was ready he was like he said what, 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 what you want to do what you want to do and the and the guy was all like um and the security guard was like he was like he said you need to calm down young man and he was like no whoever did it come get clap right now i and then my friend was just like yo are you gonna say something and i was like he said whoever did it gonna get clapped. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't wanna get clapped. Like, like, I don't. I'm. I, I, even at that point, because he was. Like, when I saw him push the security guard, I'm thinking, okay, he may not hit me or, like, push me, but I feel like he might get upset with me. And I don't. I was scared. I'm not even. I'm not gonna front with y'all. I was like, yeah, I don't wanna. Especially after I've let all this go this far, I didn't. I felt like I had already. <laughs> I felt like I had already let it go too far, and so now it's like, well, you gotta ride it out at this point. So he ends up tussling. Like I wouldn't say fighting, but like the security guard tries to grab me. He's like pulling the security guard around because he ain't trying to have it. He ain't. He's like, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. So the security guard ends up dragging him to the. Prison. And he's like, and then when he passed, then when he passes by me, because I don't think he saw me that entire time. So then he passes by me and we make eye contact. And I think when we made eye contact, he immediately realized it. he like calm down and I was like and I was like I was like so. and he was just like like he was just looking at me and I felt so bad y'all like I was like, like but also like it was like so attractive but also like I I knew I should have said something immediately but like I just I let it go so far and then <clears throat> so after he gets taken to the office and the security guard comes back and he says he said, who pushed him? And then he looked at me and everybody in the whole school knew we was dating. So we was in the freaking yearbook. He looked at me and he said, did you push him? And I was like, I wouldn't call it a push. It was an accident. It wasn't an accident, but that's what I said. It was an accident. I was just trying to get his attention. I didn't know he was going to fall the face plant on the ground like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, my bad. And he ended up getting, he didn't get suspended, like, out of school suspended. But I don't know if y'all school had that. Every school I ever went to had it, so I assume all schools have it. But he had in-school suspension. That joke was hilarious, y'all. I ended up getting in trouble, too, for something completely different on purpose because I felt bad. So, I cussed at my, I cursed out my English teacher that morning so that I could get ISS just so we could be at ISS together because I felt so bad and I wanted to see him and make sure he still loved me. <laughs> so then I went to my first period class, cussed out my English teacher, got sent to the office, and then I got sent to ISS where he was. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I love you, I didn't mean to do it. And he was all like, he was just like, he was like, it's cool, it's cool. And I was like, I said, nah, for real, like, I really didn't mean for you, you know, now we up in here, and I ain't mean for to be all of that. And what pissed me off, though, is he got, like, he had, like, five days of the ISS. I only had, like, two days. So I was like, I said, I can try to get in trouble again. He was like, if you get in trouble again in the same week, you're probably gonna get suspended and sent home. And I was like, well, what's class without you anyway, you know? But we ended up having a good two days in ISS, though. I'm not gonna lie, that was some fun, that was some fun ISS days, because in ISS, Depend if you knew how to finesse ISS, ISS was not a punishment. I don't even know why they did that stupid stuff. I never even understood why. What is the point? I still gotta come to school. I'm still doing schoolwork. What you think because I can't sit in front of Kathy? Like I'm and then you can and then half the time you don't have to deal with no teacher lectures in ISS. It really wasn't a punishment for me, but whatever. We had a good old time in them ISS classes, those two days, and then I had to bear the next three days without them in the school. It was horrible. At least I thought it was horrible. You know, you have a boyfriend and y'all have classes together and then he get in trouble. You can't see him for a few days and you're just like, oh, I miss my baby or whatever. So that's the story, y'all, of how I got my boyfriend suspended. It was a whole mess and it was so funny. And this story actually took longer to tell than I thought. So that's good because, you know, time. And yeah, so 
If you made it to this point in the video, then leave a punching emoji in the comment section down below. If you are new to this channel and you haven't already, then subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you're not new to this channel, then you know. Thanks for watching. And go follow me on all of my socials. They'll be in the description box below. Subscribe to my Patreon. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.